This is an overview of the Fantasy Handscape project and things to consider as you go forward designing. You'll have two, you're drawing from observation and imagination. So you're going to incorporate two types of drawing. And the observation is include at least one realistic contour hand drawing. So the outline of your hand with the details, the way it could be holding something, um, reaching into the composition. Maybe you have two hands that um, are right here in, in front and then something is pouring off of them. That's where your imagination will come in. And then the fantasy or scene or idea of how this scene or picture is interacting with the hand. The composition, so the actual picture that you compose and create, needs to include foreground, which is in front, middle ground in the middle, and background. So it has a depth in the picture. This one would be like a, a scene. Maybe there's a hand reaching in the middle. Um, it looks like it's in a room. Media, the type of material that you're going to use. Um, so you could just do graphite, which is just the shading, pencils, black and white, uh, colored pencils, paint or watercolor pencils, uh, pen and ink. Uh, maybe you want to have some kind of a collage. You want to do a drawing and then cut it out and have um, some other elements pasted. Mixed media, so different types of materials. Um, marker, so the imagination is the limit. It's you advocating for yourself, and if there's a material that you'd like to try, then check in with me. Some of you may even have a digital platform that you could actually illustrate this on. So you would take your and do a drawing and then you would upload it onto an iPad or Chromebook or whatever comfor you're comfortable with. So here is where you would say what media you're using and what kind of paper or board will you need. Um, we're limited with that, but I do have paper that's a little bit heavier weight. So you're going to want to work on value and contrast and the quality of your sketch. We'll talk about the due date um, later, but these are some things that you need to consider as you plan. So here is an example where the student shows colored pencil. Um, you can see the hand is interacting. It's almost like painting this picture. There's a lot of detail in shading. Uh, so this has a lot of quality design elements in the picture and it has depth. Um, some other students have, like here's just one where they're just kicking off drawing from observation before they add any color. And so this particular one became this image. And if you look at um, this picture, this, the theme, what the student was trying to illustrate is that all of the destruction that we have in the world is actually at the hands, um, man and woman's hands. We create that destruction and that was just one, something that they wanted to incorporate. But it does have depth in the piece. Um, this one has some depth because of the shading here um, and it also um, has like a pocket watch. One of those things that it has a, a little bit less depth than other pictures but it is something that um, does show a lot of the shading and some skills that um, students have. You can see this one has a lot of shading as well. It really stands out well, um, and it's just interacting with kind of a music scene. Um, this particular student has an interesting composition um, with some shading, and there's a light that's on, um, and like this little hand is building these little creatures. Um, but it didn't seem like it has much detail or depth. And so after speaking with the student, uh, we went through and talked about more shading and how to make the light look on look like it's on and what other textural qualities can you have and this was the one that they actually turned in this one really has more depth and atmosphere in the piece and a lot more details a lot more visually interesting than this picture so this would probably be more like a b range and this is a definite a so you really want to think about what you're going to incorporate into your picture um, this one has some phrases or favorite quotes, and so that's fine. It is nothing that you're going to like. I mean, if you want something that has to do with religion, it's fine. This is your personal piece, and you can incorporate that working on text. This student has multiple hands, and they're just creating like all the way through um, in the texture of the desk. So really, I'm looking for high quality detail and to see what you can create from your imagination and from observation. 
to check with me if there's uh, paint material like watercolor pencils that you would like to use um, as you go through and you design. You'll have about a week to work on completing this fantasy handscape.